Hi everyone, this is the This Grand Life Alpha 2.3 update which features the new Amsterdam map as well as advanced city options. Okay, so first thing is, um, this is the new Amsterdam map as you can see. Amsterdam is down here and um, with this map I've tried to space things more. So you, there's a city center and then uh, there's things in other parts of um, the Netherlands as well. Just put spaced out everywhere. And so you can see you have the ex stock exchange, the royal palace, and university, and all that stuff. And the unique location for Amsterdam is the uh, canals. So if we go to the canal, you have the canal cruise, which gives uh, quite a bit of fun for a low price. And you can also buy the large tulip vase, which lets you uh, start collecting the unique collectible, which is tulips. Uh, the focus of this map is on fun and also on limited time. And so I'll show you what I mean by that. Uh, let me go to a custom game. Okay, so I am in the Amsterdam, and you can see the map traits here. You've got the coffee shop where you can consume coffee at certain establishments. So this will be the burger joint and the restaurant. And coffee gives you hunger and fun recovery for a pretty low cost. And the reason you will need this is because um, it also has the relaxed trait where you lose 10 hours at the start of each week. Now, uh, when you because of 10 hours, because of this 10 hour loss, um, you have a limited amount of time and so what you want to do is also use things that recover your needs faster and that's where the consume coffee and the uh, canal cruise at the canal unique location uh, come into play. Now, it also has the uh, bicycle path trait which is good for the motored bicycle, um, a new transport option that's available, um, that's available now and it makes the motored bicycle 100% more effective. Uh, okay, so that's all I'll talk about about Amsterdam for now. You can see what kind of events are available on the map by playing it yourself. Uh, for example, they have the mega sale for their National Day celebration where everyone sells their stuff uh, on the streets, which is pretty interesting. The uh, next thing I'll talk about is the advanced options here. So You can see it looks a bit different if you've played before. There's a new button down here, advanced options. If you click on it, you can set different uh, new settings that weren't available before. For example, the currency, which is the most uh, benign one. So uh, with the currency, you can choose which currency you want and it shows up here. And this is just a cosmetic change if you want to play in a different currency. So for example, you want to play on the Amsterdam map, then you would choose Euros. It's not a, not a big deal. Now, what the interesting ones are, um, are these ones down here. The first one is the Central Bank Vigilance. Vi vigilance sorry. And this is the Central Bank's competence. If you lower it, you'll get wild economic swings, and if you raise it, then you'll get a more stable economy. So it's, ba it's basically how good the central bank is at controlling the economy. Now, I've done a test game where I set the central bank vi vigilance down to negative 5, all the way down to the lowest level, and I'll show you what that looks like now with this game. So if we look at the economic rates, here, the in inflation rate in red has gone all the way up to 15%, and then it's crashed all the way down to negative 5%. So that's a huge change in only a few years in the inflation rate. Um, I simulated this game for 11 years. So this is what happened over 11 years. Now, the interest rate, um, the because of the central bank's incompetence, they don't react to the changing growth rate and inflation rate very quickly. So that's why the economic swings are so wild and so crazy. And so if you want a, a quite a different experience, uh, yeah, you can set that as it is. Um, so economic indices you can see here as well inflation goes up really quickly and then it actually drops so the price of items actually falls for a bit before it starts rising again. Okay back to the other settings advanced options. Alright so central bank vigilance up and down. Now here you can also set the healthcare funding. If you lower the healthcare funding then that will reduce your um, healthcare tax as well as your income tax. So it reduces your healthcare tax all the way down to zero, your income tax all the way, or reduces your income tax by 10%. Now, without any healthcare funding, that basically means um, there are no public hospitals, it's all private. And so your health cost, if you ever get low health, goes up by 2,000%. So that's something you have to be very careful of if you want to play with this setting. Now, alternatively, you can go all the way to the other end where your health tax is doubled and your income tax is increased by 10%. But if you get sick, then you only pay 5% of what you would usually pay. 
for um, the other end of the extreme experience. And police funding works similar. If you lower it all the way, your robbery threshold goes to 0%, which means if anyone touches any, like if you buy any kind of items for your house, because there's no police force and no justice system, um, people will steal it straight away basically. Like you have a yeah really high chance of things getting stolen. Um, so that's another extreme, really extreme um, setting to play with. Uh, on the bright side, your income tax goes down by 5% if you don't fund the police at all. And similar with the other way, go the other way. You can store a lot more in your house, but your income goes up, income tax goes up by 5%. And with education funding, a similar thing, education cost goes up, or education cost goes down, and tax does the reverse. So these, um, these settings are work on an exponential scale, so they're pretty extreme, and only for advanced players, if you've played the game before and you know how it works. Um, so I would not recommend this to new players at all. Um, yeah, because they're pretty extreme. Now, um, that's all I'll talk about for this update. In the next update, um, what I'll be working towards is adding even more options for more extreme experience. Um, I also want to add some player advanced options, like starting a family or relationships. Uh, it won't be very complicated, but it has been requested a few times, so it's something um, I'll be experimenting with. Okay, that's it for now. Oh, one more thing. Um, so the price of this Grand Life will be going up um, next week. So if you haven't bought it yet, uh, yeah, think about buying it now before the price goes up. Okay, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.